Good morning. Can you hear me? Good morning, good morning, welcome. There's a lot of excitement, a lot of people in the room, but uh, everybody try and find a seat or a place to stand that's comfortable. Uh, my name is Mark Anderson. I'm the Dean of the Pritzker School of Medicine. It is uh, my honor to be here at this really exciting, momentous, I think joyous occasion. So I want to welcome all of you, of course, the, the graduates most of all, but the faculty, the staff, the mentors, the friends and family. Of course, no one, almost no one gets here alone, that you know, this journey is marked by that special teacher or person who showed interest, people who love you, uh, families, and so I want to celebrate the totality of that as well as the hard work, the, the arduous work, the, the, the long work that got you to this point. So I know really right now all you're thinking about is what's in that little envelope and where you're going to go. And I, 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 I feel you. I w was also uh, focused on an envelope at one time, although a long time ago, so I won't talk too long. Um, so four years or more for some of you, depending on your program, uh, we feel like w that the Pritzker School of Medicine has, and, and, and with its, its, its leadership and, and its faculty and staff involvement has, has hopefully given you everything you need, a medical education, uh, and, and, and helped to, to elevate your talent, your skills, your, and your humanity um, to, to be ready for this next step. And this is a really important and exciting and transformational next step, and I think all of you are ready, and all of you going through this are poised to make the world a better place. And so I applaud you. Uh, finally, enjoy the moment. We are really, really proud of you. And um, for those of you who end up staying here, this is the first step to joining, uh, you know, this family. I see our students, our residents, our fellows as a pipeline to our faculty, the people who will take care of our patients on the south side, in the western suburbs, in northwest Indiana and, 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 and beyond, doing all the teaching, discovering new, new treatments and, and of course providing the very best care. And for those of you who are leaving, remember you are always part of our Pritzker family and we ask you to come back. You will always be part of us and we hope that we will always be part of you. So without further ado, it's my pleasure to, to introduce Dean Aurora and, and welcome and congratulations. Thank you, Dean Anderson. Um, I am so pleased to welcome all of you to our match day. And before we get started, um, I first want to um, give a huge shout out to all of your family and friends who are not only with you today, I know that there are many family and friends who can't be with us that are watching to the live stream. So go ahead and wave and congratulate everybody for being here. Thank you. Okay, uh, without further ado, I actually have a special message. And this one goes out to each of the 91 graduating seniors from the Pritzker School of Medicine who participated in US residency matches. You have successfully matched. Now, as we gather here for this ritual we call Match Day at University of Chicago, it wouldn't be uh, complete if we didn't talk a bit, little bit about the history of how this started. And I know that there is many discussions floating around about the algorithm and how it's been modified over the years. It's even won a Nobel Prize and how it's even been modified further uh, with those things called signals in the recent years. Uh, but you may be surprised to learn that the match actually has its roots right here on this campus. The idea for the development of a large nationwide residency match began with the University of Chicago Medical School's Dean of Students, not Dr. Woodruff, <laughs> Dr. F.J. Mullen at the time. But 
like Dr. Woodruff, he was distressed that students were receiving um, you know, inappropriate offers from hospitals across the country as early as their first day of their clerkship, of their first clerkship. And this, uh, these offers would come by telegram to our building. We didn't have the BSLC then. Um, and students on the spot were being forced to accept immediately because of fear. And as described in JAMA at the time, quote, students have resented pressure from immediate decisions put on them by phone communication from hospitals. Now, one could argue some things don't change, uh, but he actually campaigned to the Association of American Medical Colleges at the time for a vision of creating a central clearing agency that facilitated submission of rank lists with a final process of intern selection. Now, the name of that clearinghouse that Dr. Mullen created was called the National Inter-Association Committee on Internships. Um, and um, that, that, and Dr. Mullen actually served as its first chair. And in the first year, the match was declared a huge success when 5,500 students matched. Today, 70 years later, that body that Dr. Mullen created is now known affectionately to you as the NRMP, which has brought you a match that will match over 40,000 medical students, including our Pritzker students today. So, um, so with that, on the subject of Pritzker traditions and rituals, I wanted to highlight another historical tradition. I think that some of you may see a money bag floating around. Who's got them? Okay, there's the money bag. And so this is a money bag that has been started. Pritzker contributed $100 to get it started. And this money bag for our families and friends will play a crucial role later in the ceremony. So we'll keep that there. So on to some serious business. No commentary about your class would be complete without a huge acknowledgement of how you've really come to Pritzker and answered the call of medicine. And especially in 2020, when many of you started, not all of you, but many of you started right in the midst of the pandemic. And we couldn't be more proud of each and every one of you for your incredible contributions starting that day to our patients, our community, our institution, to each other, and to all of us. Um, and as somebody who was not a leader at that time in this position, I truly wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for also welcoming me into this role um, as, um, as you did did when I started in 2021. So I'm also really grateful that you've had some nice days this past week to celebrate Match Week class activities with the generous support of the University of Chicago Biological Sciences Division. Thank you, Dean Anderson. And I also hope you've enjoyed your evening outings. Um, I know that um, I was able to join you for a wonderful evening um, for the senior skit, and I hope that you had a great trolley ride as well. So, um, as we, I see the money bag going around, so thank you for passing that around. Um, I also have something else to report, actually, another, another rate of sorts. Um, so I know that you guys get a lot of email reminders, and some of them come in different forms, smoke signals through the senior skit, through, um, you know, emails from, you know, many of our staff. So I want to congratulate your class on achieving a double AMC graduating questionnaire response rate of 94.6%. Woo! Now, for our, our families and friends might wonder, you know, why are we congratulating you for that? Well, the nationwide response rate is less than 35%. So we are often asked how it is that we actually achieve such high response rates. And being at the home of University of Chicago um, and our great economics institutions, we do know that incentives do work. And so <laughs> students who completed this um, graduating questionnaire were eligible to win a diploma frame, which we'll show you in a minute. But at this time, I would like to invite your amazing Pritzker chiefs to join me up here to draw the names of those who from those who completed the graduation questionnaire and who will win the diploma frame thank you <laughs> all right 
Charbel, you here? Okay, wonderful. Congratulations, Charbel. So, believe it or not, um, to our um, graduates, this is the last time your class will gather together formally with each other before you graduate. So, we with us. So, you may ga you may gather <laughs> with yourselves. <laughs> so. <laughs> So I wanted to remind you of some upcoming graduation activities. And so on May 24th, we'll have the student faculty um, recognition dinner at the Drake Hotel at 6 p.m. where we hope to also honor your families. On May 25th, the following day, that's the division academic ceremony at 10.30 a.m. where you will receive your academic hood. I'm pleased to announce that Dr. Anthony Fauci will be your graduation speaker. And I would also like to acknowledge both the Pritzker chiefs and the graduating class for voting and for extending an invitation, which he did accept. As many of you know, he served as director for the National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Diseases from 1984 to 2022, as well as advisor to the president and led the response to the coronavirus pandemic. So an apropos speaker for the class that entered in 2020. And then on June 1st, Convocation will occur at 9.15 um, on the University of Chicago campus for all graduates where diplomas will be received. Now with so many exciting events occurring, we know you could forget about our emails and so we wanted to just encapsulate a few things that you'll need to do. And to do this for you in the style that he has always done for you, I would like to invite your very own Dean of Students, Dr. Jim Woodruff, to the podium, who's been in charge of your road to the residency for some very important announcements. Dr. Woodruff? Um, I, too, wanted to add my congratulations to all of you. Um, but as Dr. Aurora pointed out, there are a few housekeeping items. Um, the first is to remind you that um, after you receive your envelope, you are still not yet MDs, okay? And, <laughs> and I, I mention this because I think um, sometimes students after the match naturally get excited. Um, and maybe they change their social media, they change um, the signature for their email. Um, or maybe they even order new business cards <laughs> that say MD, but to do so, or at least to distribute um, those cards before convocation on June 1st is misrepresenting oneself. So um, you're not MDs yet, you're getting close. Uh, number two, um, you'll be receiving an envelope um, from Dr. Fromey in the next 40 minutes or so that contains the results of your match, but also the match of most all the other students here in the room. And this is a confidential list. Uh, so we want to remind you that uh, this list is confidential. I think every student here in the room who has information on that list agreed to put it on that list for the use of the class, but it's not to be uh, put on social media. It's not meant to be photographed and disseminated widely. Um, so please take that responsibility seriously. Um, many of you, after the match, are going to go on trips and enjoy yourselves, and you should. Um, but I'm going to ask you to look at your email regularly uh, for communications from the residency programs and graduate medical education offices at the institutions to which you've matched, because there is a fair amount of paperwork that needs to be completed in order for you to start your internships. Um, and in some of the states uh, that you'll be traveling or to uh, for your residency, um, the process takes a little bit of time. And the last thing a program director wants is to have somebody um, starting internship but unable to be on the wards because their paperwork is not yet completed. So keep an eye out um, for those documents. 
Um, finally, I just want to encourage you all to enjoy this moment. The next few months and the start of internship are gonna be incredibly busy. And so taking some time to just reflect on the work that you've done um, and where you have arrived uh, is something you should really commit some time to. And today is not such a bad day to do that uh, with your families, with your mentors, um, and during sort of a celebratory environment without the pressure uh, of the onset of internship. So congratulations to all of you. We're very proud of you. I look forward to talking to you on the other side. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Woodruff, and look out for those emails. Um, so uh, before we uh, move on, I'm just going to close with a few thank yous. Um, and so first, I want to say thank you so much to the Pritzker Chiefs, um, Dean's Council representatives, and class leaders who have been critical in planning and executing this week's match festivities. So a big round of applause. <laughs> I would also like to acknowledge um, that we have in this room, as well as watching from the BSLC at home in the hospital, many Pritzker faculty and staff from curriculum, admissions, financial aid, our heady team, student affairs, um, faculty development, um, who have really guided you from your first day that when you got the call to come to Pritzker all the way to still guiding you and some of them who will be um, at graduation with you. And so a big round of applause for all of our team members. We already acknowledged, but want to just again would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge that in addition to everybody here, we would uh, we also rely on a lot of the support from your family and friends who've gotten you to this point in your career. Um, and I know that they are so proud of you. I still remember my parents. Uh, my parents actually, believe it or not, sometimes watch the match day now because they're still proud of me. So, uh, so if they're watching, you know, hi mom and dad. But, um, but I did want to let you know that, um, you know, you know, it's just an amazing thing, and you don't become a doctor by random. It's really, really deliberate processes, and a lot of it is a family affair and friends who've supported you along the way. So, congratulations and thank you to family and friends who are here and at home. Okay, um, now in order to get to today, uh, there are many people in this room that are seated here in the front who actually met you for the sole purpose of making sure that you match. And so they have spent countless hours thinking about what specialty you'd go into, listening to you deliberate, thinking of reviewing um, all of the programs that you were applying to, reading multiple versions of that personal statement, looking at the way that you're uh, doing those mock interviews, helping you with your rank lists, all the way to this point. And so I want to acknowledge together um, our wonderful career advising team over here, Dr. Barrett Frome from the MSPE team, and Dr. Woodruff, as well as, of course, Tyler Lockman. So a big round of applause for all of those individuals. Thank you. Okay, and so with that, uh, this will conclude my portion of the remarks, um, and hopefully we will stay on time because we know we want to hit that 11 o'clock on the dot. Um, I want to remind everybody that we will join for celebration with um, food and drink in the Cloister Club that's immediately outside with lunch sponsored by our Medical and Biological Sciences Alumni Association, and we'll have plenty of opportunity to celebrate, and so for our um, students that are math There'll be uh, photo booths, I matched signs, as well as a special gift from the Medical and Biological Sciences Alumni Association. And so thank you for their generous support sponsoring this event. And as Dean Anderson stated, whether you stay or whether you go, you will always be members of this amazing alumni network, and we look forward to supporting you. So congratulations. And without further ado, I am going to turn it over to your Pritzker chiefs, Leslie, Cody, Melanie. Thank Thank you.
right. Uh, hey, everyone. For those uh, of you who don't know us, uh, I'm Cody. This is Melanique. This is Leslie. And we're this year's Pritzker Chiefs. Um, so at Pritzker, we have a few match day traditions that we do every year to celebrate match. Uh, one of those traditions is senior superlatives, where we have these yearbook style superlatives that the whole class votes on. And today, we'll be announcing the winners. Another tradition is viewing special video messages sent in by members of the class who aren't matching with us today because they're taking years off or getting extra degrees. And finally, we have a photo montage of pictures um, submitted by the class of some of their favorite memories at Pritzker. Um, but before we get to the fun stuff, uh, we have some important uh, people to thank who made this day possible. So first, we'd like to thank the Match Week Planning Committee. Thank you, Sarah Ann and Gabby, for um, helping with the match week planning, the events were a lot of fun, but they also were a lot of work to plan, so thank you for volunteering your time. <laughs> thank you to the Senior Skit Committee, uh, Gabby, Ashley, Emily, Dom, Mira, Mark, Nikhil, Lily, Alan, and Callie. You guys put together uh, one of the funniest skits I've seen during my time at Pritzker, which has been a while. <laughs> um, <laughs> And uh, if this whole match thing doesn't work out, I've heard SNL's hiring. <laughs> Next, thank you to Dean's Council for funding the Match Week events and continuing to prioritize funding events that bring us together as a class and as a school. And next, thank you to the first year administration. Thank you to Dr. Anderson for taking the time to be here today and sharing, uh, sharing your words of wisdom with us. Thank you to Dr. Aurora, Dr. Woodruff, and Dr. Lee for your leadership and supporting us on this journey. Um, thank you to Dr. Fromey for your tireless work, making us all look like Nobel laureates on the MSPE. <laughs> and um, also distributing envelopes today and cracking some jokes. Thank you to all the Society Career Advisors for guiding us through the residency application process calming our nerves when things were stressful, and celebrating, us when, when, celebrating with us when good news arrived. Thank you to Tyler Lockman for going above and beyond while guiding us through this crazy application process. From editing our CVs to tracking our progress with interview invites to um, certifying our, uh, making sure that we correctly certified our rank lists, you have been a rock of stability in a sometimes turbulent process. Thank you to Mike McGinty for working your magic with our course registration. <laughs> with our course registrations and credit audits, um, responding to our questions and drop requests with lightning speed, um, making sure that we'll all be able to successfully graduate and move on to wherever we match. Um, finally, thank you to all Pritzker staff, including uh, Kate, Candy, and Alyssa, for creating a wonder and wonderful environment here at Pritzker that has allowed us to grow into the budding positions we are today. And last but not least, thank you to all the friends and family who have supported us through this process whether they're here in person or viewing the live stream. It took a village to get us to where we are today, and I know our class is very grateful for all your love and support. So let's have a big round of applause for everyone who helped uh, get us to this day. Uh, and with that, I'll turn it over to Leslie for some senior superlatives. All right, hi everyone, thanks for being here. So I'm gonna run us through the senior superlatives. As Cody mentioned before, these are a special set of superlatives that the class voted on and that we have every year. Um, the winners don't get anything but fame and glory, but to me, I think that's worth a lot. So let's get into it. First, we have the most likely to brighten up your day. She might not have won the Great British Bake Off Challenge, but she does win this award. Cassie. <laughs> Next, we have a class favorite, Best Bromance, and there was actually a tie for this one, but we decided to give it to both of you all because you have some really strong bonds. So um, the winners of this are Mark and Charvel. <laughs> And of course, Dom and Nikhil, our lovely senior skit hosts. They're so wonderful. We love that bromance. All right, next we have most recognizable laugh. 
This person is a member of Social Rounds crew, and I'm sure that their laugh can actually be heard by Patience and Mitchell while Social Rounds is going on. Henry, this goes to you. <laughs> Next, most likely to earn a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, someone that has been a source of entertainment and laughter for the class since the beginning of time. Marco. <laughs> okay, next, most likely to star in their own reality TV show. As a, reality, as a reality TV show watcher myself, I would definitely watch them in this series. Hannah. <laughs> Now, most likely to have a patient set them up with family members. Um, this held true before today, but now with that shiny new diploma frame, I think it's <laughs> Charvel. <laughs> You're winning a lot of awards today. Very lucky guy. Okay, next, worst case of senioritis. I don't think this person is even here. <laughs> they may or may not be watching on the live stream. Kristen? <laughs> She's out skiing somewhere, climbing a mountain, at a craft brewery, who knows. Most likely to let their future med students go home before noon. These are the residents that we know and love. They're great teachers and they manage to get in all their clinical teaching before noon. Ryuji. <laughs> Most likely to be found at the Evanston Chili's during a North Shore rotation. This is perhaps the most prestigious award we have here today. And it goes to Dan Dolan. And finally, uh, most likely to be the next Fauci. So maybe you all can you know, chit chat when he comes here for graduation. Um, this person does quote research papers in everyday conversation. So it's no surprise that it's Liam. <laughs> And now we're gonna transition to some words from familiar faces. The students who have taken a year off are getting extra degrees who have some special words for us on match day. Hey everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2024. I'm so excited and proud to call you my friends and hopefully future doctors. Uh, you're all just <laughs> wonderful people and I know you're gonna be great in whatever specialty that um, you've chosen to go into or that you match in. And for the parents, uh, family, friends, others who are in the crowd, just know that the work that these people have put in is really second to none. Um, I think that based on that, you should give them all a reward. And that reward should be not asking for medical advice from them for at least a month after <laughs> they hear the news from this week. Um, but again, just really proud of all of you. and. I can't wait to see where you all end up. Hey everyone, not sure if you remember us, but it's Tony, Diana, and Gary. You know, from M1. And we just wanted to record this video to let you know how proud we are of all of you. And to show everybody some of the reasons we know you're gonna be incredible doctors. Ladies and gentlemen, we're proud to present to you the forefront of medicine.
Congratulations on all the incredible things that you've accomplished over the last few years. It's been an honor to be your friend and classmate, and we're rooting for you as you move on to your intern year. And wherever you guys match, we know they're going to be so lucky to have you. Also, sorry for exposing you to your friends and family. Congrats! We love, love you! you. <laughs> Hey y'all, congratulations. We're gonna have a great match day and it's gonna be lit, as the kids say. Um, have it done fun for y'all. <laughs> Hope you're not all burnt out. Hey everyone. Hey friends. Gary and Armand here, calling in from Beaches of Cartagena. Sorry we couldn't be there for the big week. We've been working super hard. Finals at Booth are very strenuous. Um, but in all seriousness, we are so proud in, of each and every one of you. You all have worked so hard over the past four years. We're so grateful to have called you our class for the last few years. Each and every one of you has impacted us and we're so excited to see all of your success moving forward. Amen to that. All right, cheers y'all. Make sure you celebrate and we'll see you very soon. Okay, um, so we're gonna take a quick walk down memory lane. I was supposed to be done at 1035, but I had some really cute and funny comments. So I was thinking I would stay up here until about 1115, then <laughs> Dr. Fromey can come and we'll move on with the letters. Um, but I'll go ahead and get started and run through these. Uh, just a quick walk down memory lane for us. Um, so those of you who are rounding out a decade here, like Cody, may not recognize these photos from Anatomy, uh, but this is how we first met each other. Anatomy involved masks, face shields, goggles, um, and this is how we spent our first few months together. Uh, COVID and social distancing became the theme of our preclinical years. We tried to make the best of it and spent a lot of time enjoying the great outdoors. After Pritzker vetted us for a couple of years to make sure that we could really hack it in medical school, we finally had a white coat ceremony before they released us onto the wards. Where we went and worked really hard and supported each other through some of the highest of highs and lowest of lows. Um, I see Gabby and Marco on that mid-morning coffee run. Who's willing to bet they're on anesthesia? <laughs> Congratulations to those of you going into anesthesia. Lots of protected coffee breaks in your future. Um, our class has worked really hard. It's our class is published widely um, and presented at national and international conferences and submitted to many, many journals. But don't worry, we still found time to play really hard. I'm told Alex and Dan won the Chicago Marathon for the kids. And we continued the tradition of intramural domination. Um, we worked hard. And from the looks of these pictures, I would say we partied pretty hard, too. <laughs> and I think anyone who finds out today that they're leaving Chicago will feel instant nostalgia for these Chicago summers. Passing days on the lakes and the greatest rooftops that Chicago has to offer. You're all imagining it. You can feel the air on your skin right now. Some of you will even miss the Chicago winters and all that Chicago winter had to offer. Not me. <laughs> and I know for a fact what I'll miss the most is the friends I have made along the way. Um, the good news is we will soon have shiny new paychecks and we can continue taking trips together. Um, but in all seriousness, it has truly been an honor to complete medical school with each and every one of you. And I'll think most fondly to the meals we've shared and the deep conversations we've had over coffee. And I'm incredibly proud of our ability to cement these bonds despite being the COVID class. Not to mention, how good do we look? <laughs> I 
I mean, seriously, did every, anyone ever think we would see this day where we could all be together and see each other's faces? Um, one final thing I want to do before I get kicked off the mic is thank the unsung heroes of our class. Our families have made so many sacrifices um, from scheduling weddings around exam schedules. So thank you to those partners and spouses. Uh, to keeping babies awake until some kind resident takes pity and sends us home. <laughs> Hi, Oliver. <laughs> I see Cora's here, too. <laughs> And of course, I can't forget the dedicated study partners who got us through the long days and nights of Sketchy and Anki. <laughs> we have finally made it to this long-awaited day. And now, we have just a few minutes until we open letters and determine our fates. So, I just want to thank you all for allowing us the privilege of being your chiefs this year. <laughs> Hi, this is gonna get fun now. Can you guys hear me? Dean Anderson, is this your first year with us? Yeah. Buckle up, buttercup. <laughs> um, <laughs> so good start. My little crowd right here. I want to keep my job, I do. Um, so, <laughs> so as you guys know, those who haven't been here, we're going to call out the uh, names in some random order wherever my hands seem to grab them. What's going to happen is that there are two big prizes. One, if you are the second to last name called, you get this one pound Hershey milk chocolate bar. Uh, uh, these, these restrictions, Dean Anderson, this used to be a 10 pound bar. I don't know what happened, but we need to talk about the budget. <laughs> if you are last name called, which is odd because you have to wait the least amount of time to open it, you get this amazing bag of stripper cash. Um, for anyone who put the money in, you know what I mean. It's all crumpled and we don't know where it's been. Do I still have a job? I'm good? Still fine? Okay, we're good. Um, all right, I mean, Dean Polonsky just ignored me after a while. It felt good. I don't know what's happening here. So I'm going to ask my wonderful colleague, Tyler, to come up because you guys know Tyler is the real brains behind this. <clears throat> Tyler is going to throw them upon the table in a nonchalant manner, but with quite a bit of panache. And we're gonna spread them out face down so I cannot see what name I called. Even though many of you slipped me some money, I took the money, but I'm not gonna call your name. Uh, not last, at least. And we're gonna try and do this. When I call your name, if you could please come down, we're gonna have some runners with us to maybe greet you part of the way up. As we get closer and closer, uh, we will speed up or slow down, depending on what my wonderful timekeepers tell me. So who's ready to start this party? <laughs> In case it's not obvious, you can't open this envelope till 11, so just sit with it in your lap, tormenting you. Um, all right, here we go. First name, not the winner, Megan Wren. It always gets so exciting in the beginning. You know what, you know what's awkward? I have to put my reading glasses on for the first year. <laughs> Parents, you feel me. Right? Okay, here we go. Alonzo Jones. <laughs> Alex Rains. I can't see the audience and use my readers at the same time. Maybe I'll just make up names. Uh, Mohan Chenikov Savalu. Oh, I did that wrong. I was close. I was close. It's a lot of excitement. Everybody's still excited? Sid Ramesh. Ma'am. Did you know that uh, our, our group here that's graduating come from 21 different states? I'm going to find out about the other ones, and we're going to personally get Kemi Carter to find one from every state from now on. 
and maybe some U.S. principalities. Who knows? Madison Wagand. <laughs> Marissa Corti. This is, so I just want you guys to know, it's been like three minutes and I'm already getting instruction from Jeannie Farnan. Um, I'm getting this, this, which is funny for Jeannie to tell me to stretch anything, uh, considering her diminutive state. Um, see, here's the deal. I can go after my colleagues. I'm not going to go after you guys. It's your day. And if by making fun of Jeannie Farnan makes your day brighter, I've done something for you. All right. See, was that a good stretch? Excellent. <laughs> Celine Reggio. <laughs> Cody He. <laughs> I'm going to take, Brandon's got it. My career advisor's doing a little something here. Did you know? This is fun. Did you, did you know? You know, Tyler did, because he gave me these facts. Um, I did request them. Did you know that 24 people in this class took a year off? That's like a quarter of the class. Were you just tired and you just like needed a, a year off? No, you were, took a year off, people took a year off so that Dean Anderson could be here for this. He wouldn't have been here last year. Uh, Nikhil Umesh. <laughs> This is fun. Can I ask today, do we know who came from the furthest away to come in person? If you think that's you, raise your hand. Oh wait, how far do we come from? Naples. From Naples, Florida. That was the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, that's a little colder up here. Anybody come from farther than Naples, Florida? Is that, is Miami? <laughs> boo, is, I got a boo. Miami, I'm flying to Miami in a week. Yeah, I'll find you guys. You're gonna let me stay with you? Great, wonderful. Anybody further than Miami? Oh wait, Naples is coming back with a retort. Hold on, yeah. Through Cleveland. Florida. Through Cleveland, so that's like double. What do we have back there? Where? India. Oh, India wins. <laughs> India wins, India wins, yeah. Florida, Florida. I love that Florida is always like, it's us, we're in a panhandle. No, India's farther. <laughs> Bryce Hendren Santiago. <laughs> Not winning again, Sherbel Romanos. <laughs> you hand it back. You can't win more, you just can't. Ali Yan. <laughs> Sukarn Chakara. <laughs> Rohan Shah. There we go. Did you know? This is fun. I didn't realize this was going to be a little thing where I say, did you know? Um, did you know that 14 of you were born outside of the United States? All of them India. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Grace Hansen. Rebecca Abraham. Samantha Morris. Oh, I'll do that one. Thank you. Did you know? No. We'll do it again, but not right now. Any quick comments from my career advice? By the way, has any, everybody seen Brady? Brady, stand up, please. Look at this outfit. Look at this. Get the full. I'm wearing pajamas for you. And he, look at that. Now sit down, we have nothing to say to you. Sit down, we're done with you. But Dean Anderson noticed and he thought, that's a snappy dresser. Uh, Derek who?
My time check. That's very nice. I got my little time check. Did you see that? I got my watch fixed. It's exciting. I know what time it is. Matthew Doulas. Now, I'm, I'm seriously coming back because that was just fun. Um, can I ask my career? Can you guys stand up for a second? Just so the families can see you. The live streaming. Look over there. Show them you. Look at this amazing group. I'm just wondering, off the top of your head, do you guys have any want, just one, don't discuss it, just somebody come up, one really essential piece of advice you'd like to give right now to all these people about to get their match list. Somebody, something now, go. Uh, Wait. Uh, invest in your Roth IRA. Invest in your Roth IRA. Okay, okay. Brandon, I'm coming back to you in a minute. That's a good one. That's a good one. I would actually say learn about that because when I signed up at residency for my benefits, some, some colleague of mine who'd had a job told me what to do and I've never changed it since, so hopefully I'll have retirement. Uh, Isra Hosnain. <laughs> Cassie Daisy. <laughs> Abigail Snyder. <laughs> Julia Chavez. Did you know, I'm real for this time, the most popular specialty from this class is internal medicine. 21 people, I think 21. Did you know those 21 people aren't so bright? You all should have chosen pediatrics. She with the mic gets to give the truth. <laughs> no, all your specials are fantastic. I now have reading glasses, so you know I like every specialty that sees old people. Thank you very much. Um, Tommy Sumersky. <laughs> Santiago Avila. <laughs> Honestly, I asked once, does anybody know how much go is in here? Like just average? I asked the winner once and they said, A, I have to iron the bills because they are so crinkled. Uh, and then they said it was like three or $400. So if you have less than that, know that this is a cheap crowd. <laughs> Grace Dwan. <laughs> Allison Mobley. Seriously, Tyler, next year, let's print bigger font for me. <laughs> Sad, I want a good 42 point. Jordan Milholland. <laughs> oh, Brandon, you had something to say earlier and I just wanted to come back. You had a piece of advice. I don't want anyone to miss, ooh, what is happening? That's weird. You know, uh, not a lot, but take time for your friends and family. You know, residency is tough. So was the not a lot, you don't have a lot to say, or not a lot, don't take that much time for your friends and family? Yes. Okay, yes. great, excellent, <laughs> wonderful. I mean, for friends, yes, family, depends on the day. I love you, family, you're amazing. And remember, always call your parents, just because you're a resident doesn't mean you don't have time for it. But it's okay to be late on all gift giving. Anytime you owe someone a gift or something, just, oh my gosh, I was on call. And then they're going to leave you alone. So it's perfect. <laughs> Did I just give away the secret? John Moyer. <laughs> Callie Winters. <laughs> Omar Vriani. <laughs> Did you know that, I'm almost out, uh, that the person whose residence as listed is furthest from us, I don't actually know who it is, I just know where it is, it's San Jose, which is 2,174 miles from here. That's a, f you gotta fly a lot, whoever that, who is that? Who's, who lists San Jose as their residence? Their home address? Nobody, great. <laughs> Tyler, did you just make that one up? Tyler just made that one up. No, Tyler just made, Tyler's like, I'm gonna say San Jose. Um, Katie Long. <laughs> uh, 
Nidia Kung. And as a pediatrician, I am 100% completely distracted by the two children I keep seeing. So keep that one bouncing because we may never finish if you keep bouncing a child, which is great. Um, I have a quick question. Who is the, oh, this is gonna be hard. Who has the youngest family member here? The bouncers? Who's youngest? Yeah? Five months, but only a week after the Okay, wow, that, all right, so, and, what? Youngest here, okay. Who, ha and you don't have to share this, who has the most mature family member with us today? Anybody? Back there? How old we got, like 120, 130? <laughs> it's that, we're gonna give it to them, excellent. I don't know what's happening. I can't see with my readers. All right, I'm gonna go back to the career advisors for a hot, no, you know what, I'm gonna go to Candy. Candy, now. Candy. <laughs> You work with a lot of people. If you have one piece of advice for these wonderful people as they go into their next stage of their career, what is it? Use your tax exempt form for reimbursement. Use your tax exempt form. This is a really, really practical crew here. <laughs> it's like, do your taxes, get the right exemptions, it's all good. Uh, Jason Zhang. <laughs> Roger Yu. Rachel Sun. <laughs> Maria Paz. I'm, I'm holding my glasses where they're not useful. Oh, right there, we got it. Henry Seidel. <laughs> Willa Lee. Zi Yi Chu. I'm gonna get, I get to deliver an occasional one myself. Dean Anderson's right next to me, is he looking? Is he gonna trip me? I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, I'm getting, it's starting to, just so you know, it starts getting nervous down here. I'm getting six minutes, five minutes. Barrett, do you know, five minutes, five minutes, I got it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get this. Because you, if, I sh if I fall too short, I've been told Dr. Rohr has a poem. <laughs> and I don't wanna do that to you. <laughs> Henry Leto! <laughs> Catherine Luo! <laughs> Sid Tiberetti! <laughs> Tyler, Tyler's on his horse now. He's on his horse. Iris Wong. I mean, I'm starting to see if, it's getting close, people. We're getting there. Elizabeth Turman. Anya Agraval. Thank you. Oh, now the career advisors are coming. Everyone's starting to feel the pressure. Alan Zhu. <laughs> career advisors on your feet if I need your help. Maytel Chernoff. <laughs> Dan Dolan. <laughs> Vikrath Merle. Mira Saxaval. <laughs> Ashley Diaz. It's really hard to time this, people. It really is. Kevin Lazenby. <laughs> I got Brandon running. Ryuji Arimoto. <laughs> Rain Pirin Boom. Sarah Ann Azizi. <laughs> Leslie McCauley. <laughs> Romy Portieles Pena. <laughs> Mason Vieira. <laughs> Whew, we made up some time there, we really did.
I'm just seeing how quickly I can make somebody pass out running up and down the stairs. <laughs> Gabby Bettencourt! <laughs> Dominic Robolino! <laughs> Courtney Amagashi! That's excitement back there. <laughs> Maria Ruiz! John Sutton! Thank you, Tipu. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Sharon Zhang! <laughs> Lena Penumale! Jared Lasner! Oh my goodness! No time to dilly-dally, there's only three left. Jim Woodruff, hustle. Jim Woodruff, hustle. Hustle, Jim Woodruff, get up here! Pick one, don't flip it. Don't flip it. Pick another one, Jim. Don't flip it. Melanie Gualls Castellanos. Stand up if you don't have an envelope. Stand up. Where am I two? I got one. Where's my other one? Oh, right here? You ready? Who gets chocolate? <laughs> no, just kidding. Not doing that one. Sabrina Wong! <laughs> Liam Spur! <laughs> Go. I do not open them! I have 52 seconds left with you! There is no, thank you, all my runners. Thank you, friends and family. I want to tell you, no matter what this envelope says, you are going to be amazing physicians. I want you to remember that this is a privilege, an honor, and a calling. And I'm in pajamas today because I had to come help cover service because I love my job. You will, too. Do not open that envelope. I swear I'll run up there and take you down. <laughs> It will be a match violation yes. for Pritzker, and we would get kicked out of the match. So yes. please do not open And we are on live stream. Here we go. Count with me. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy match!